All right, we are now going to talk about division using a multiplication chart. And division, um, if we're talking about our basic facts with division, um, we can absolutely use a multiplication chart to help us, especially if we are working on trying to memorize those basic facts, because memorizing them is going to be the most helpful in the long run. But um, we can use some tools to help us as well. So I just want to think about, um, let's think about a division problem. Like let's say 48 divided by 12, okay? Now, we, this can be found in our multiplication chart. So if we look at the second number, this 12, we can follow that over until we get to 48. Then we look all the way up to the top and that number four is right there. So 48 divided by 12 is actually four. Now, we have to think about division as being the opposite of multiplication. It's called inverse operations. So if 48 divided by 12 is four, then we can say that 12 times four is 48. We can also say that 48 divided by four is 12. And we can do that by looking at four until we get to 48. There it is, right above it, is 12. So multiplication is like that inverse operation. We'll do another one. Um, let's say uh, we have 135 divided by 15. All right. So we can use the multiplication chart again. We're going to start by looking at the second number and going over until you find the first number, which is 135. So we've got 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105, 120. Oh, there's 135. So we're looking straight to the top and we get the number 9. So that means that 15 times 9 is 135 and that 135 divided by 9 is also 15. Our multiplication facts and our division facts are related. So we can use that multiplication chart. Again, my multiplication chart is a 20 by 20 multiplication chart. You can find them bigger, um, 30 by 30, 40 by 40, but 20 by 20 usually does a pretty good job. Most of your facts are going to be on there, especially your basic facts through 12s, which is kind of our most important as we are memorizing. Um, but we can use those anywhere. So another example, we can do um, 56 divided by 7. So starting at 7, going until we get to 56, and there we go, 8. So you should use this strategy. If you struggle with your, your basic multiplication facts, your basic division facts, you should use a multiplication chart um, to help you with those while you practice. This is a good tool for you to use as you are working to memorize those facts and get that fluency better and faster.